So I'm just finishing off my makeup and I was thinking that today it could be good to talk about some of the different ways that my style has changed over the past year or I suppose the way that I've adapted my style and the style hacks that I've been using. I'm just going to put on some lip balm. Um, and I wanted to start with beauty because I'm getting ready and I thought I'd just talk you through each element as I got ready for the day. So yeah, um, beauty for me I think is a big part of your personal style, um, whether you do winged eyeliner like I tend to do most days, it makes me feel like myself, um, but even if you wear a bold red lip, like that can completely change up your outfit, the way you do your hair, everything. So yeah, that's kind of where I sort of start and it's definitely an area where I've noticed I've had to make some changes, whether it's pulling my hair back because I can't really keep it out. Now this part of the video includes a paid for integration with Schwarzkopf. Uh, I think probably the biggest thing that I have noticed since having a baby has been the regrowth. So while you're pregnant you have these amazing hormones which stop you from losing your hair so it becomes really thick and luscious and full and then it all sort of falls out around the three month mark and then after that it starts to grow back which is wonderful. But for me, I've noticed a lot of mine have been growing back grey. So you may have noticed this in some of my videos because I haven't really um, tried to hide it. I've got all of these greys in my roots here. And right now I have to say I'm not really sure if I'm going to go out and dye my hair. Um, I did a couple of years back try to go lighter and I didn't have the best experience. So uh, I'm sort of, you know, once been twice shy and I'm not really sure if I want to go down that path again. I may, but I'm still mulling over. So I've been looking for a solution that can see me through in the meantime and help me conceal those greys because as I said, I've got very dark hair, so it's quite a contrast and they are very noticeable. And honestly, the Schwarzkopf hair mascara has been a total game changer. It's something that I will apply to my roots just after I've washed my hair when I'm getting ready for the day. So after I've done my makeup, this is sort of the next step. It has this uh, simple mascara wand and I like the fact that it is very firm bristles so it adheres to your roots really nicely. It's very easy to use from that perspective. So when I'm using the hair mascara, I'll pull out the wand and I will just kind of wipe any excess off in the tube so that I don't have too much product on the wand and then I will slowly start to work it through my hair and I find that by applying a little and then building up, I get really great coverage and I'm not putting too much product in my roots um, and essentially what I will do is I will either just kind of look in the mirror and I will brush it through very quickly through my roots. I won't even hold my hair down. Otherwise, if I'm trying to get a really precise application, I will hold my hair down at the roots quite smooth and flat and then I will brush it in. And it just does such a great job of concealing those greys and it's a really fantastic product if you are someone who actually dyes their hair and you are wanting to sort of extend the amount of time between dye jobs or when you're going to the hairdresser or if you just have those scraggly greys like I do and you kind of want to conceal them without having to dye your hair completely because I don't know about you but I personally really love my natural hair color so it's not really something I want to change at this time and I think that's kind of one of those considerations for me. Um, I use the shade Dark brown and I find it is a really fantastic color match for me. Um, now what I'm going to do actually is, and I never thought I would share this on the internet, is show you a close-up of my hair, my hairline before and also a close-up of after so you can see just how impactful this is. It's very natural looking and it just blends in seamlessly with my hair uh, and also I like the fact that I can apply this and then the next day I generally don't need to reapply unless I've kind of had some other greys that have popped out from underneath which I didn't capture the first day that I used this so it's a really great one because you're not having to reapply every single day too. But yeah, I think you can kind of see just from that before and after what a dramatic difference the Schwarzkopf hair mascara has really had as part of my beauty routine and it is just such a game changer for me. So I'm so thrilled that I discovered this. Like I said, it is so simple, really easy to use and it comes in a range of different shades to suit all hair colors as well. I'm going to leave some links down in the description box below where you can purchase the hair mascara and also learn a little bit more about it. But yeah, I think that is definitely the biggest way that my beauty routine has changed that and I generally tend to wear my hair up in a bun like this so as you can imagine when you're pulling your hair back like that concealing those greys is a must um, and also I'm not really wearing foundation either so generally I'll just apply some concealer and I'll use a bronzing primer for my complexion um, I'm really liking having my natural skin showing through um, now let's talk through accessories and more style elements Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about 
in terms of style hacks or ways that my style has sort of changed this year is jewelry so one thing uh, with having a baby is that they like to tug at everything so you have to be really really mindful about what kind of jewelry you're wearing and I found now that um, our son is older I can start to wear jewelry again not just for filming videos so I find when it comes to earrings I will usually wear something that's a little bit more dainty and petite so these ones here are just a very simple huggy then for necklaces I like to wear ones that are a little bit more robust so no fine delicate chains um, I actually have a couple from Linya which work really well so I've got this one here I think it's called the Navric necklace which I love so I can throw that on and that works really well and then I also have uh, another thick one I've got one from Linya too but I might just throw this one on from Majuri which is just a simple flat kind of like a boyfriend necklace I suppose so I'll layer up things like that because I know if they get tugged at it's not going to come off my neck I don't have to worry about them breaking I'm also doing things like wearing watches a little bit more in terms of having a little bit of jewelry around my wrists um, I find that that's better than wearing a bracelet and I'm also expressing my style through rings so I'm just going to pop on my um, engagement ring and I might grab a couple of other ones to stack so oh I have this really beautiful ring here which is from Fedoma and then I like to kind of stack a few linear rings they're sort of my go-to at the moment I'll show you my favorite stack so I just really love the way that looks. I also have just a plain gold band on my other hand as well. So from a jewelry perspective, that's what I've been doing. It's a few hours later now and I want to pick back up on that conversation around the different styling tools that I've been using this year. And I want to talk about my outfits now because obviously that's a big part of your personal style. And one thing that I've really noticed since having a baby is that a lot of my clothes, they don't fit me the same anymore or else they're just not practical for my lifestyle. I'm kind of crawling around on the floor, bending over a lot. I need things that are very easy to launder. That's quite important actually because I don't really have time to run down to the dry cleaner nor do I really want to pay that expense and additionally like I, I don't really know when I would get around to hand washing so if it can go on the washing machine that is really all I'm after. I'm also introducing a lot more colour. Um, creams and whites as pretty as they are and as much as I love that beige aesthetic it isn't the most practical when you have a baby who's eating solids um, and so I'm definitely taking a chance <laughs> with what I'm wearing today. And so I found that that has felt like a very natural progression for my style. So I thought maybe I could share with you some of the pieces that I've recently added into my closet which I think really tick all the boxes for me. So I've been going for a lot of really high-waisted styles, things that come up above my belly button because I do have a bit of um, abdominal separation still. Um, my physio said I didn't but my doctor said I did so I don't know. Um, but you know I find that that type of silhouette is very flattering on me and I also really like wrap styles I think they're fantastic as well very convenient and in addition to that I've been finding that I like uh, more singlet style tops too so all these pieces are the ones that I bought myself and actually maybe I should talk about the shorts that I'm wearing let me just switch the camera around. okay hopefully you can see them and you can hear me so these shorts I actually bought in two colours, they're from H&M and they're just a simple cotton high-waisted short. They have a bit of a paper bag effect and they sort of make me feel like I'm going on safari. Uh, very, very comfortable, they're not too tight anywhere. I like the fact that the hem here um, is actually quite wide so it's not too tight around my legs because I mean my damn shorts which I absolutely love and I wore so much before I had a baby, they are very rigid so they're not the most comfortable for crawling around in. These feel a lot more kind of soft and relaxed and malleable. Um, I got them in a sage green as well. Um, I actually got a couple of other pairs of shorts. So this pair here is from St. Agni. Um, I'll quickly pop them on. Alright, so these are the St. Agni shorts on and these ones are cotton linen so you can kind of see I'm really making a point of introducing those natural fibres into my closet and this is such a pretty warm camel colour. I like that these ones are a bit longer and they're fitted at the waist but then they have that loose fit 
through the legs and they're also a bit of a longer short as well which is something I felt was missing from my closet um, they don't have the pockets on the bum which I think creates a really seamless look and is actually a lot more flattering than when you've got pockets um, at the back so yeah that is the second pair of shorts and then I did actually get a third pair it seems a little bit excessive but it is sort of the type of things that I'm wearing every single day and as I mentioned I have to be conscious of the fact that I am constantly laundering things so I might only be able to wear something once before it has to go in the washing machine. Okay and then the final pair of shorts are these polka dot ones from Age which I picked up during the Black Friday sales and again you'll see there's a bit of a theme, they're fitted at the waist and then they have that loose fit through the legs so very very comfortable. These are a rayon viscose linen mix and they've got a cotton lining so really breezy, feel very comfortable and I like this little tie which dangles down and they are a polka dot which hopefully you can see a bit better there. I love the fact that the belt here, it has this gold detail on it. Very subtle and nice big pockets too. Okay, so first top I wanted to share, this is the wrap style. And this one is from Age again, which can you tell it's becoming one of my favorite sort of fashion brands. This one I bought because I really love the witchery black linen um, top, which is very similar. It's just got slightly less voluminous sleeves. And this one is in a cotton poplin. Um, I would kind of say this is more of a cool summer day or a spring autumn piece for me, um, but it's got that tie at the back. I just think it's really fun and I'm finding this wrap over detail very flattering on me. It is a universally flattering cut um, and very practical if you are nursing as well. Funny how I said that white's not the most practical colour and then I whip out two white tops. But the other top that I wanted to share, um, this one is a one shoulder top and it's kind of got a bit of a Grecian feel to it which I absolutely love. It is in this beautiful soft cotton, it's fully lined and not sheer at all. Uh, this one's from Witchery and I actually have been really really liking their stuff recently. Uh, I think their spring summer collection is just bomb. So yeah, that's the other one and I just think it looks really elegant without actually having to do much. Like you don't have to make much of an effort to wear something like this and it's just very comfortable. Uh, great to dress up or dress down as well. Okay, final top I wanted to talk about is this cotton tank from Lois Hazel, which I actually had on a product loan and I loved it so much I decided to buy it. So, sorry about all the squeaking um, of the floorboards. So this has a very subtle kind of ribbed detail to the fabric. And it was the colour that really drew me to it. I just think it is very nice, it's simple, and it's the kind of thing that very effortlessly pairs with what I already have in my closet. I could imagine myself wearing this so many different ways. So not just for the summer, but also as a layering piece as we kind of transition to autumn, um, you know, at the end of the season. So that was kind of one thing that I was keeping in mind. Uh, I always like to do that with basics, but you really can't go wrong with a good basic tank. Okay, and then the final piece I wanted to share with you was a dress, and I'm wondering what's the best way to show this to you, hang on. I just zip that. So this is a little mini dress from Gani, which I've had on my wish list for so long and when I spotted it was on sale I thought it was kind of the opportunity to give it a try and see if it would work for me and I love it. So you can kind of see it's got those elements which I mentioned that I like. So it's got the wrap detail, um, it's a mini style but it's not too short and also I really love these puff sleeves too. And the fabric, I don't know if you can see that print but it's got these beautiful olive, white and black tones and it's kind of the seersucker material. You can throw it in the washing machine. I mean, what's up to love about that? Then let's talk shoes. Okay, so we've got the classic slide sandal. My Saint Laurent ones are the ones I tend to reach for the most um, just because they go with absolutely everything. They're so chic. They kind of have a bit of a vintage feel to them uh, but with that squared off toe, which I love. And we've got another pair of flat sandals here, which are from Bowden. These ones I love because they've got this raffia detail on the toe, which hopefully you can kind of see combined with suede um, and I like the fact that there is an A strap across the foot so they don't cut you off, they're incredibly flattering. And then the final pair of sandals I wanted to mention are Birkenstocks. Um, these aren't going to be everybody's taste but I actually find they work really well with shorts or with pretty dresses or with skinny jeans or slim jeans. 
the, I don't know what it is about the super wide kind of clunky shoe, but it kind of just helps to balance everything out. Um, and yeah, they're, they're pretty comfortable. However, I do find this particular pair, because it is made from the stiff material, uh, it can kind of cause a bit of discomfort on the top of your foot. So if I was to purchase these over again, I would have spent a little bit more and gotten the suede or the leather version. And two more pairs of shoes. <laughs> um, these little dream flats from Oliver Cabell. Uh, these are just a great ballerina. And the warm saddle color, I think, just adds a nice touch of additional color to my outfits. Um, because I am wearing a lot more of those caramel beige colored tones, these work really well with them. And then the final pair of shoes. Again, I know these aren't going to be to everybody's taste, but my Golden Goose Superstar sneakers. These ones have the um, lizard effect on the heel tab, which is what I really like about them. And they're so comfortable. And having the bit of cushioning or the platform in the heel actually makes them very flattering on too. So for me, when it comes to shoes, it's all about ensuring that the ones that I'm wearing are leg lengthening. So they are continuing to draw the eye down. So I don't want any straps that go across my ankle that are going to cut me off. Um, and I tend to prefer shoes which have a little bit more of a slimmer profile. So nothing too chunky. I know the Birkenstocks totally go against that, but there's some kind of voodoo magic in the shoes that make them look really flattering. I think it could be the fact that they are just ultra clunky. And so they kind of make your ankles look very petite by comparison. So that's kind of a look at the different styling tools that I'm using when it comes to getting ready every single day. Um, I hope that you found this video interesting and I want to say thank you to Schwarzkopf again for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to have some information down in the description box below so you can go and check out the hair mascara, which as I mentioned is fantastic. But you can see, as I mentioned, I applied it the, in the morning. I mean, my hair still looks perfect. I like the fact that it's really undetectable and it doesn't feel like there's any product in my hair at all as well, which is a total bonus too. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and spending a bit of your day with me. I know I say that a lot, but your time is precious and I do really value that. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye. Bye.